Hi guys, welcome to Laura's Kitchen Garden. It has been a little while, not that much has been going on. I've been kind of leaving the garden to do its thing, but there are definitely some changes when I look back over the last month. May was really, really hot for a couple of weeks and then we've just had really, really heavy rain the last week or so. So things have started to shoot up. The thing I'm most excited about is the strawberries. The strawberry bed is very large and there's a one that is just about to turn red and there are loads and loads in there. There's gonna be hundreds. I have put these canes up, um, but I haven't got the net across yet, so I really need to get on and do that so the birds don't eat them all. Although in previous years, it hasn't been the birds that have been a problem. It's been slugs. Slugs seem to really like strawberries as well. In this area I have actually sown clover, there was already some volunteer clover and then a little bit further up I've got some oxalis as well and I just think these are really pretty and I needed to put in a bit of a path for this year and that's what I'm going to sow. I know they spread, they spread easily but it does dig out really easily and next year if I want the path in a different place I can dig it over and it puts nitrogen back into the soil. It's also really good for the bees and it's going to stop me just walking on the mud. So we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work I can dig it in at any point but my idea is to have less bare soil this year so last year I just had like paths which have got quite dry in the summer and um, so that's why I put the clover in. Slugs have been a really big problem. I planted lots of cabbages, these are greyhound cabbages and most of them have been eaten and it was the same with my um, arch here. I planted beans to go into it but the slugs have eaten those as well so I might have to re-sow them. The rhubarb is doing really well. I've got lots of seed trays hanging about because I've got a sprinkler that goes the garden. So when it was really dry, I had like, like a sprinkler that attaches to the end of the hose going and I moved all of the seed trays up into the middle of the garden so they were getting a water at the same time. Then I planted them on and haven't really done anything with the trays. I don't know whether to wash them out and put them away for next year. Um, which might be a good idea. My mum started quite a few things for me in her greenhouse and this cucumber was one of them. I wasn't sure about having a cucumber this year because it was quite bitter last year um, but I'm gonna give it another go and then in this tray there were extra cabbages that I thought oh I might plant those out but I'd planted quite a lot. The slugs ate those as well and I got these geraniums I just picked them up quite cheaply from Wilkinson's and they're waiting to go out of the front. This parsley is starting to bolt, but this I was actually left from last year. It went all through the winter. And this rocket as well, I think, came from seeds from last year because I had rocket in here last year. And something, I'm not sure if it's slugs or caterpillars, but something has eaten everything this year and it's had a good go on the parsley too. And would you look at this chamomile? It's so thick and lush and it just smells amazing. I still haven't weeded it. Who knows if that'll even get done this year, but it goes all the way down. I just love it. For a non-edible, I think it's my absolute favorite, but back to the edibles. And I've got gooseberries. So these didn't fruit last year, but they are now and they came from a bush at the allotment that was really successful, really big bush. These were both cuttings. There's another one at the back there which has also got fruit on it and then just along from the gooseberry bushes it's black currants and these are also doing well this year these were also cuttings that we bought back from the allotment and there's two of those those are the only four fruit bushes that did survive there aren't any others i didn't do the best job with getting the potatoes out we seem to have a lot of potatoes coming up I've also got over here my sweet corn. I'm hoping to do the three sisters on this again, but I want the sweet corn to get just a little bit stronger before I put the beans in. And then just here, in this little area is my garlic, which I think has got a good month or so left on it. I've got a lot of trays out at the moment. These actually did have seedlings in them, um, but they've all been eaten by the slugs, which seems to be part for the course at the moment. The potatoes have sprung up. Something has been munching on the leaves of these ones. The front two rows are the anyas and they have definitely had a lot more nibbling than the back ones. Again, I'm not sure if it's slugs, could be a caterpillar or something, but it has got the um, slimy like slug trails all over the leaves. I am a little 
little bit worried about the extent of the decimation. Just, it seems like in a few days there might not be that much left. And the last thing I've got is this row of tomatoes. My mom started these in her greenhouse for me and there's a mix of varieties in here. I've just got one steak in them at the moment. I'm gonna try and really keep them pinched back this year and not let them spread too much. So, so far with all the wet, you can, you can see already how the dirt, it, it rains really heavily so the dirt splashes up onto them. At the moment they're drying off fine because they're they're just small plants but as they get bushier they don't dry so well and then you end up with blight but that's everything for this week guys thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon bye bye